Welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Can anybody guess what this is? Oh. Yes. That's right. Push bumper. Rhino go for Crown Victoria. Yes, finally. Okay, guys, the day has finally come. My Go Rhino push bar has arrived. Okay, so my Go Rhino push bar has finally arrived for my 2008 Crown Vic Police Interceptor. As you can see, uh, this car was used in the Vancouver Police Department and it had a push bumper before. So all the brackets are still there, the mounting holes are here. So this is gonna be an easy install to bring back the push bar to the Crown Vic. I've always wanted a push bar and I've had many, many Crown Vics, never with the push bar. So I'm gonna give it a try, see if I like it. It'll be great. It'll make the car look more authoritative. I'll be able to push cars out of the way because it is a push bumper. And uh, yeah, that's, all, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, as you can see, it is, well, it's actually really good looking. In fact, it's uh, too good looking for that car right there, which has got lots of scratches and bumps and bruises. So maybe I'll just beat this thing up a little bit with a hammer for just so it matches my car a little better because it looks really, really nice. This thing weighs about 45 pounds altogether. It came with the brackets. These are all the brackets I'm going to need, I think, in a heavy box. It's got instructions, which I will probably ignore. Oh, it's got pictures. Maybe I won't ignore it. I can handle pictures. I can't handle writing. Not so good with that, but I can handle comics. Pictures is fine. It should be a pretty easy install. I, um, maybe, could I do this in 15 minutes? I don't know, maybe I can. Let's see if I can. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the car up on ramps so I can get underneath the bumper a little bit easier. And then we'll look at the instructions and go from there. Okay, so that's why these ramps scare me. Yeah, that's why. Okay, just to get more light on the situation, we'll just remove this cover piece here. Now there's some room to work underneath here. And this is everything that came with the kit. You got the push bumper itself. You got these brackets. You got these brackets. You got a lot of really good looking hardware. And as you can see, it's graded bolts. So these are, these are gonna be pretty tough. Some metal spacers of some sorts. Uh, these type of things and the instructions so pretty good kit I'd have to say I'll put a link below where you can get something like this for your Crown Vic as well okay so the bumper has to come off in order to do this job never done this before but I do know that you have to take off the side marker light to access bolts here and there's little push pins here one two and three and so we'll start off with that. Push pins, take out these side marker lights. Guys, to get this out, come on. Probably gonna have to get new ones. Okay, for the side marker lights, you just gotta remove this Phillips head screw. There's a little bolt right here. I think it's 7 16 Right there, a little bolt. That's gotta come out too. Then you can take out the side, side lights. Yeah, that's a 7 16 in there. Side marker light should just come right out. Okay, so we want to get rid of that little Phillips head right there. And this bolt right here is what we want to access right now. Come on. Okay, next step from underneath the bumper, there's one 5 16 bolt. Second one. Third one. Fourth one, these have got to come out next. I spare a little bit of WD-40 on these, so hopefully they will come loose. Give it a try. 
there's little clips that you sort of have to get in there and sort of push it up. Little um, uh, clips. Okay, that was pretty easy, except I got clobbered by my own bumper. Bumper's off. Okay, what do you do now? I don't know. Okay, as you can see, because this was an X Vancouver police car, it did have a push bar on it. So it has mounting hardware here, here, and here. That was cut off when they put it to auction. So I've got to take all this off to make room for my own brackets. Now, to fit my bracket in here, I've got to cut off some of this plastic. Okay, I had me a sandwich, so now it's time to finish this job. Now it's time to put on my new super heavy duty brackets. This is gonna go, let's see. It's gonna go right like this. And you gotta match these two holes here. Okay. We had to slice this plastic to let this bracket flow through. Now as you can see, it's sort of like indented here. It goes high, low, high, low. So that means you have Sort of like thick washers you're gonna put right here when you put it on. These little washers are gonna go right like this. That'll make it a smooth surface. You won't be bending, trying to bend that bracket or anything like that. So these washers are gonna go right in here. And we're gonna put these special T bolts in. Okay, I've got my two bolts on, got my spacers in there, got the bolts on finger tight, as you can see, finger tight, one there and one below, and there's all my cool Dixie horns, made a video about putting that installed too, I love it actually, it's a lot of fun, but anyway, you can see that we have one bolt back here that ties it all together into a big square, so you got a sort of a C-shaped big bracket, and then a plate on the back that ties it all together. So you got one bolt here, and you got two bolts up here. And then of course on the front, it bolts into your reinforcing bar right here. So it is very, very secure, and it's definitely uh, made to do the job, which is pushing other people off the road. Now, I don't think I'm gonna be doing that, but if I wanted to, now I will be able to soon. Let's take a closer look. So you can see that you're just gonna have the two holes right here, and two bolts here, two bolts here, and you can see that that lines up pretty darn good. And then the actual push bar goes on the outside of these tabs, on the outside, and you can see that this is also lined up pretty good. Pretty good, and pretty good. So you can see that my push bumper is centered and I can tell that it's right about there, right about, it's centered and it should be good. So that means that now I think I can tighten up some of these bolts. Okay, so it's now time to put the bumper skin back on. All right, just discovered one little problem. My holes for the brackets are actually too high. This uh, car must have had a different push bar. Must have had a different one, not a Go Rhino, maybe a Satina or something else. Because according to the instructions, the holes should be right on the trim line here. So I'm gonna have to cut these down to get the brackets to come out. So that's unfortunate. I have to cut a larger hole here, but that's what I gotta do. Okay, the bumper's all back on, and the last act of this drama is about to unfold, and that is the mounting of my Go Rhino push bar. So this is before, before,
right, the job is done. That looks awesome. It fits really, really well. It is secure. Oh. Okay, the only defect is that there's a little crack in the protective plastic covering. I never did that. That must have came that way. So, not happy about that. But otherwise, it looks really, 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 really good. So although I did this over two days, it's not a hard job. It's just gonna be done in just a few hours. The front bumper comes off easy. Do not be intimidated by that. Uh, I've never taken a front bumper off a car before. So this was my first time, this was easy. So there's no problem there. And the basic mounting system is really straightforward and simple and um, everything fit pretty good. Not perfectly, but pretty good. And Go Rhino is about the best quality push bar you can get for the Crown Vic. My only complaint is that, as I told you, I've got a little crack here, not happy about that, and the Go Rhino sticker is not in the center of the push bar. It's a terrible mistake. I'm afraid I'm gonna to have to return this to Go Rhino. That's unacceptable. And of course, the best thing is that now I have a seat on the front of my car. So, you know, if you're at a picnic or you're uh, stargazing at night, you can sit at the front of your Crown Vic. That makes it all worthwhile. All right, so two opposable thumbs up for the Go Rhino push bar on the Crown Vic. And you know what the most important thing is that I feel more like a man having a push bar on my Crown Vic. Uh, push bar. Where have you been all my life? Oof, push bar. Oh, okay, so thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you next time.